Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Brandon. Uh, for today's video, I will be doing a fall winter essentials or fall winter favorites um, video for you guys. Let's hop right into it. I don't wanna make this like a super, super long video. I'm about to head out the house. Um, so yeah, so the first category I wanted to talk about are pants. Yeah, so I wear a lot of denim. Uh, my favorite pair of jeans this fall winter has been the Seekings Raw Black Denim, uh, Japanese fabric made in USA. Uh, yeah, I think it was a 14 ounce denim or 13 ounce, something like that. Uh, but really, really thick when I initially got it. And this pair a lot, so they've kind of broken in. Um, it's a lot softer now, a lot less rigid. And yeah, it's a slim fit. I'll show you guys the B-roll footage. It's just, you know, a really, really good essential in my opinion. You got the leather tab on the back. Nothing really much to say about this. Like a good, I think everyone needs a good essential pair of black denim in their closet, a good fitting pair of denim. Uh, but yeah, so next pair of jeans that I have are by Double RL. I forget the exact wash name of this, but essentially it's just a slim fitting mid-wash salvage pair of jeans i believe this is also japanese fabric made in the u.s as well but yeah uh, just a really 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 good fade a good wash to have a little mid-tone to you know switch up in and this has been really doing wonders as well i got this during the summer as well and i've been getting a lot of use out of this i'll show you guys b-roll footage of how this fits uh but yeah again along with you know like i said with the seekings in them uh, it's just like a, an essential wash, an essential fit to have, in my opinion. Something I can just chuck on and head out. Uh, so yeah, really enjoying both of those pairs of jeans. Okay, uh, next on the list of pants, I have this pair of Amiri khaki cargos. I'm gonna try and hold it out a little further so you guys can see. But um, yeah, I got these, I wanna say like a year ago at this point. Uh, they're kind of massive, so let me put this here. Stand up to show you guys. Uh, but yeah, so multi pocket cargos. You got the inside pockets right here. You got like a little, I guess it's a coin pouch. It is functional. I can open up the right here. It doesn't hold much though. But yeah, um, I really fell in love with the hardware on this pair of cargos. Um, I'm not really like another pocket right here. This is by like the cap. I'm not like a huge Ameri guy, uh, but I do think that they make pretty quality pieces. They also have back pockets right here. Make it a little closer. And yeah, you see the Ameri detailing right here. Again, the hardware on here is just great. On this side, you don't have the zipper pocket, it's just a flat pocket, uh, another flat pocket, and then another one on the ankle right here. Super, super heavy. Um, but yeah, this is, Actually, I got this in a size 38. I believe the original fit is supposed to be uh, slim, skinny, knowing, you know, Amiri is probably supposed to be skinny, but I got this like two sizes bigger than what I normally wear. And it's like a straight leg fit. And I really, really love these though. Okay, so next I have this leather pair of pants. This is actually in a jean style, I would say. Like it has the pockets here, the little, um, I forget what the name of this pocket is. I don't know if it's like a coin pocket or pocket watch pocket, not exactly sure. But this is from J Brand. So I got this actually off of the Row Row, uh, I wanna say last year. And yeah, it's kind of like a, a slim cut, I wanna say. Uh, but yeah, excellent fitting. Ugh. I'll make sure to show you guys details. But yeah, I think leather pants, they're just a great switch up in your wardrobe. I wouldn't call these like an essential per se, um, but you know, if you have like a good pair of black denim and you're looking for a way to elevate like an all black fit, I definitely think leather pants are the way to go. All right, so the next category we're gonna get into are hoodies. Uh, so first hoodie, oh, and also I changed the camera angle if you guys couldn't tell. Uh, I'm gonna just stand up the rest of the video so I can like fully show these clothes. Uh, but yeah, so next category, like I was saying, that we're gonna get into are hoodies. 
my favorite hoodie by far this fall winter has been this plain gray zip up hoodie by Les TN. Um, and that's literally all it is. It's nothing really much more to say. Uh, this is a fleece cotton underneath right here. You can see the branding right there. Um, yeah, fleece cotton. I really did love the hardware. These are Riri zips. Um, yeah, just something I can chuck on. Uh, literally just an essential. I think a Heather Gray hoodie is a must have. Nothing more to say. Uh, yeah, so last for the hoodies, this is technically a crew neck, but whatever, um, is this ERD brown crew neck that I got a while ago. I'm not exactly sure if it was last year or the year before, but just a graphic ERD on the front and then on the back is faded as well. This is a double XL, I believe, and it's like massive. Let me put the camera down a little bit. So I just went, got the biggest size I could. It's super wide, so when it's on, like, oh, let me just show you guys. Ugh, I might actually wear this today. But yeah, so it comes, it stops like right at my waist. Look, good joint, good joint. This is actually this beanie, uh, this crew neck, and then the Seekings denim. I'm running a pair of SLPs right now, but this Seekings denim, uh, this crew neck and this hat have been like my go-to fit for this winter. Oh, oh. That's it. Yeah, that's a good fit. Uh, next piece though, we're moving into outerwear is this Raph Simmons denim oversized shirt. This is a size medium. Uh, for reference, I am 5'10", 200 pounds. Um, this is a size medium and it's still oversized. So, if you're thinking about getting this or some variation of it, look at the sizing and definitely go down. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this has been one of my favorite pieces this fall, winter. I wouldn't wear it with this shirt because it's not like long enough, but it's just an oversized denim shirt. And that's all it is. A good essential, I would say. Um, I can place like a hoodie underneath or something because it's so big. So you got the RS stamp right here. And this is new, I believe. Um, I haven't seen this in previous years where they added like this little label on the sleeve, but I'm um, really enjoying it. Yeah, I'm a sucker for the hardware. I was trying to focus so you guys can see, but it's like branded on the hardware. And uh, yeah, nothing much really to say about this. Good little piece, good essential. Like an elevated, you know, an elevated throw one essential, in my opinion. But yeah, next piece. So final outerwear piece or final piece I'll be showing in general. Um, okay, yeah, so final outerwear piece that I will be showing is probably my favorite piece of my closet. Um, it is this fall winter 2018, I wanna say, a Prada varsity jacket. Um, it's in this burgundy color, as you can see. Leather accents on the shoulders. Other accents at the pocket. Uh, let's see, on the insides, the guts. This quilted lining, very soft. I'm not exactly sure the fabric of this. I could probably should have looked into it to check the details. Uh, but yeah, and just right there. Yeah, I've had this piece in my closet since 2018, and this has been my favorite outerwear piece every year since this. Again, so a good way to sell me on any type of clothing item is to have good hardware. Um, yeah, not a lot I can really say about this. I think, you know, varsities in general are a good pieces to have for the fall and winter. They obviously don't have to be Prada, um, but it's like the fit on this is just great. 
This is a XL, I believe, size 52. And um, yeah, also like green ribbing detail. I, I believe that's what you call that, like ribbing, wherever this is. But yeah, really, really, really good piece. Really good piece. So yeah, that will be the end of the video. Leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe, the whole spiel that YouTubers say. Um, enjoy your day, peace.